Oh no, Jacob's running, Rachel stole some things. Um. Let's find out what happens on the... <clears throat> On the third day, Laban was told that Jacob fled. Taking his relatives with him, he pursued Jacob for seven days and caught up with him in the hill country of Gled. Then God came to Laban, the Armenian, in a dream at night and said to him, Be careful not to say anything to Jacob, either good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> How would you feel if God himself came down and say, Don't mess with this person? <laughs> now what if you were the person God was telling another person not to mess with? They... That's a boost to your ego. <coughs> In the opposite scenario, it's probably like, okay then. Jacob had <coughs> pitched his tent to no. Jacob had pinched his pinched pitched his tent in the hill country of Gled when Laban overtook him. Overtook him. Laban and his and his relatives camped there too. Then Laban said to Jacob. What have you done? You have deceived me, and you carried off my daughters like captives in war. Why did you run <coughs> off secretly and deceive me? Why didn't you tell me so I could ha could send you away with joy, singing to the music of tambourines and harps? Oh, music? Singing tam mu tambourines, harps? But I thought that was the devil stuff! Music evil! Tra musical instruments evil! Singing evil! I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Kind of poking fun at the people that actually believe that. Yes, singing is fine. Music is fine. Tambourines and harps are fine. You can do it in praise of the Lord. Anyway. You don't even let me kiss my grandchildren and my daughter, my daughters goodbye. You have done a foolish thing. I have the power to harm you, but last night the God of your father said to me, be careful to say, be careful not to say anything to Jacob, neither Either good nor bad. Like, don't touch this guy. Like, God, personally, on your behalf, came down to someone else and like, don't touch this guy. Or if you're the person God's saying, don't touch this guy, too. It's just like, well then. Now you have gone off because you long to return to... Your... Father's household, but why did you steal my gods? Oh, uh, yeah. Jacob stole. Well, not Jacob. Rachel stole her father's gods. Oh, example of it. Someone of. in the Bible not being totally pure on this monotheistic thing. Almost just like the archaeological records prove, the Bible doesn't go against this. Some people think it does, but the Bible is readily to admit Israel failed spectacularly on the mon only one God thing. Anyway, Jacob answered Laban, Laban, I was afraid because I thought you would take my take your daughters away from from me by force, but if you find anyone who has your gods, that person shall not live in the presence of our relatives, 
see for yourself rather there is any of yours here with me and if so take it Jacob did not know that Rachel had stolen the gods his favored wife <laughs> the girl he lifted that big rock for Ooh, yeah so Laban went to, into Jacob's tent and into Leah's tent and into the tent of the two female servants but he found nothing after he came out of Leah's tent he entered Rachel's tent now Rachel had taken the house of gods and put them inside her camel's saddle and was sitting on them dad yeah, that must have Painful. Leban searched through everything in the tent, but found nothing. Rachel said to her father, Don't be angry, my lord. I cannot stand up in your presence. I am having my period. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Apparently, the bag is totally hidden under her. I'm like, yeah, but you can pull, can you pull that like thing you're sitting on out? you but from under your butt. So he searched but could not find the household gods. Jacob was angry and took Levan to task. What has, is my crime? He asked Levan. How have I wronged you that you hunt me down? Now that you have searched through my all my goods, what have you found that belongs to your household, put it here in front of your relatives and mine, and let them judge between the two of us. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, if someone was, should, is accused you of stealing something, they find it. I mean, yeah, you would probably be pretty mad too. <laughs> Maybe. I have been with you for 24 years your sheep and goats have <coughs> not massacred nor have I eaten eaten rams of your flocks I did not bring your animals torn by a wild beast I have no I bore the loss myself and demanded payment for me and you demanded payment from me for whatever was stolen by day or night this was my situation the he consumed me in the daytime and the cold at night and sleep failed failed felt from my eyes it was like this for 20 years I was in your household. I worked for you 14 years for your two daughters and six years for your flocks. And you charged me my wages 10 times. If, God, if the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac has not been with me, you would surely have sent me away empty-handed. But God had seen my hardship and the toll of my hands, and last night he rebuked you. Laban answered Jacob, The women are my daughters, the children are my children, and the flocks are my flocks. All you see is mine, yet what can I do today about these daughters of mine, or about the children they have bore? Come now, let us... No, come now, let's make a covenant, you and I, and let it serve as a witness between us. So Jacob took a stone and set it up as a pillar. He said to his relatives, Gather some stones so that they took stones and piled them up in a heap and they ate there by the heap Levan called it jar no jar 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 
Sahadutha. And no, there's no translation for that. Good luck. And Jacob called it Gad. There is a translation for that, and it's the Aramaic. Oh, they both mean the same thing. And Aramaic. Oh, that's Aramaic. And the Hebrew Gled. Jarshur Jeth, whatever. Both mean witness heap. And yeah, bad pronouncing languages I don't speak. Wow, what a concept. I bet if I give you. I bet. I bet you. If I find someone in your country that speaks no English and gave them English words to pronounce, they would do a horrible job too. So don't judge me. Lebanon said, This heap is a witness between you and me today. That is why it's called Gled. 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 It was also called Mizpah. Ah, back in the day where they couldn't decide what to name things because everything had like 20 million names. Anyway, means watchtower. In what language? It doesn't say. Probably because there were so many la different languages each people group had and there's... Well, but still, it's, it's like, if and I think in the same language, it's just like, this is the thing, but also this name, what's also this name. Uh, because he said, may the Lord keep watch between you and me that watchtower, yeah, that's what mezpeh, whatever means, between you and me, when we are away from each other, if you minister my daughters, or if you take any wives besides my daughters, even though no one is with us, remember that God is a witness between you and me. Ooh. If you mistreat or take any wives, but ooh, ooh. Laban also said to Jacob, here is this heap and here is this pillar I have set up between you and me. This heap is a witness and this pillar is a witness that I will not go past this heap to your side to harm you and that you will not go past this heap and pillar to my side and har to harm me. May the God of Abraham and the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judge between us. Between us. <coughs> hmm. His descendants too? I wonder who that will be. Probably more Arabs. Hmm. It's like Israelite, Arab, everything else. Whatever. Middle Eastern descent. Uh, I guess some. Maybe, maybe there is a people group that don't go bug the Jews in the Middle East. They may exist. So, Jacob took an oath in the name of the fear of his father Isaac. Interesting name. Oh, it's going a little longer than expected, probably because of all my little comments. He offered a sacrifice there in the hill country and invited his relatives to a meal. After they had eaten, they spent the night there. Early the next morning, Leban kissed his grandchildren and his daughters and blessed them. Then he left and returned home. Returned home. Hmm, there's a C. Hebrew text this first. Thirty one fifty five is numbered thirty two one. Okay.
Make of that what you will. Anyway, there's stuff to discuss, I guess. I left some stuff. My little comments, just anything you heard there. Why have I excuse from Rachel? It's like, um, I'm, um, having my period. And if you don't know what that is, either you're a boy or too young to be on YouTube. And no, if you're a boy, you don't have to worry about it. Or, you know. Yeah, pretty much if you're a boy, you don't have to worry about it. So don't worry about what it is. Don't worry about it. Nothing you have to worry about. So anyway, um, yeah, that is all. Just the excuse from Rachel. Wow, just like she she probably heard like, oh, oh, Jacob, Jacob said, I. Bon only said I deserve death. I'm really, but then why did she do it? I don't know. Like you, if you wanted idols, you could just make them. Stealing, like idolatry, but stealing idolatry. <laughs> Great combination, Rachel. Good job. Anyway, bye. <laughs>